And we've got a great template for you. Whether you have a daycare center, private school, a crash, or very popular after schools, this template is going to really help you not only reach your local community, but broaden it to a wider audience. Very colorful, engaging for both parents and students. And this is all done with this great starter template called private school. But like I mentioned, you can use it for many other examples like crashes or your own actually tutorials if you are running that. Now, this comes with both Brizzy Cloud and Brizzy WordPress. And if you want to know more about these platforms, remember to visit brizzy.io and check out more. But from here, we're going to go to templates. And this is where you get all these templates. And we're constantly adding more templates for you to use. And starter templates, they are just brilliant. A great place to start and get everything going. I love it. And I often use them just as a springboard, as a stepping stone to learn more. Let's select education under categories, and this is where we're going to get it. You'll see there's a lot of others as well, not only the private school, and this is where you can really look for those that you need. So we have a homepage about classes, teachers, and contact pages, and these are all the standard ones that you expect to see. But what I really like about this site is that the colors are joyful. They are done right, and you can see the market here is really focused on that younger generation. We have a subscribe for a newsletter at the bottom. That is something that you can add to keep people engaged. The About Us page, more about the school. I think you should really flesh this out a little bit about the history, the experience, how it was set up, which communities it's focusing on, and images will be very important here. Always remember, when you're working with kids, you need to make sure that you get those permissions and you get them written. Better sometimes to use models than real kids from the community. It's a little bit difficult, a decision you have to make. Then classes is our third page. This will depend a lot on the type of school that you are running. Here we can have a curriculum that you can add, but if you have special classes, that's where you add it. Teachers, very important. People want to see who's engaging with their kids nowadays. I see there's some heavy algebra going on in the back there. And then finally, the contact form. This you'll have to set up very nicely to make sure that people can get hold of you. I also want to say here, all of this can also be combined into a landing page or just a one page website. So instead of having all these pages, you can bring them together. A nice little map. And then on every page, you would have noticed we have a good header, we have a good footer, and all of this is done with global blocks. In WordPress, we go to starter templates and you will need Brizzy Pro for this. And from here, you can go through the free and the pro. This is a pro version through the categories. And you know, it's under education, or you can just search for it. You'll see under education, our private school, let's click on install. And this is going to give us the pop-up whether we want to keep or delete existing content. I'll go for a clean installation, which means install template with deleting it. And there we go. Everything is successful. Thank you very much. No, thank you. And let's have a quick look at just making sure that everything has installed properly. To the front end and yeah, the colors are there. Everything looks pretty good. We have our header, we have our sections, and now it's just a matter of tweaking everything, making sure the integrations for our mailer list, if you're using that, is set up. You look here at the pages, all our pages are there, those five pages, and simply go in, select Edit with Brizzy. We go in and we make those changes. So let's go to the home page and have a quick look just at what we have here in terms of our header, which is set to a global block. Very important. We look at the display conditions, it's set to all, and that's how we make sure that this header appears on each and every page. Now, this here is an overlapping section, and we did that by going to the row, and then under styling, we go to the margins, and I reduce it to minus 100 pixels, and that moves everything up. Now, if I want to just or rather when it starts out standard, it's going to be at zero. And what I've done it, or the developer did, designer, is put it inside a block and then move it into a negative. And the rest of the page, I think, is very standard. Here, what I would probably do is for this part to go ahead and save it. And then once it is saved, I can just put it on the other pages and reuse that. I don't have to set up that integration each and every time. And there's the global blocks, which are headers and footers. And the subscribe button, this is the important part I mentioned. For your pro, you have access to everything for email notifications, Gmail integration, and then of course your mailer, your distribution list. And especially if you are doing a newsletter, this is the place to go. 
You choose the one, you bring in the secret key, the API key, whatever they call it. And that's how it works in WordPress. Of course, everything shown here also works in Brizzy Cloud perfectly. How you set it up is the only thing that is different. Right, so let's have a look. Then if you are a Brizzy Cloud user, you will go to the brizzy.io website and then templates, and you find the private school and click on start with the design. And this brings the cloning process, our little mini me, our little own private website of the private school, and it will install it, I say it, under 15 seconds. It's going to create a new project in your Brizzy dashboard and it will open it automatically. So you just need to remember to go and change the name once you are done here. You have your global colors. Let's get back to that. First, jump into our CMS dashboard, which is just the project settings. And there again, all our pages that we have here, you can go ahead, swap it out, images that will be specific to your brand. What I just think would be a good idea here is, you know, bringing in a pop-up or something, so that when people come to your school, add a pop-up there and let them know maybe about an open day event or to come sit in on a class if they're interested to bring their children there. Let's go back to these global color styles and nice colors, very easy to change this and personalize this site to make it really unique to your business. Simply click on the global swatches, we change out the colors. I do like the original colors, but maybe you want something a little bit more serious or something a little bit more funky, then you're going to do it here. Just make sure that, you know, that pink already is a little bit too difficult for me. Topography, this is a heading two. So just to have a look at it's set to play fair display. We can switch it around. Mm, no, that's no. I think let's find something a little bit more professional. Palanquin, not, not dark palanquin. Okay. Trying to have a private school effect here, which is usually a little bit more up class, right? Isn't it? And then we can change out all the other settings for the topography to Palanquin. And that is the private school template that you can find in both Brizzy Cloud and Brizzy WordPress. I really like this design, very colorful. Also in a way, very minimalistic. I'm a big fan of keeping things very minimal and keeping it clean. You've got everything there, but you can add so much more. If you're in WordPress, go for the blogging and the same for Brizzy Cloud. If you're there, you can set up even projects portfolio with the custom assets, all these great features that you have, including those pop-ups and stories. I think the stories would be great if you can incorporate stories for your, for your kindergarten and you put it on a mobile device, put up posters with a QR code and people link to those stories. From me, JP, until next time.